हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक्नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर एग्रीगेट इंटरफेस इन फोर्टीगेट फायरवेल सो फ्रेंड्स एग्रीगेट इंटरफेस यूज टू इंक्रेज बैंडवेथ एंड प्रोवाइड रेडेंसी इन नेटवर्क सो यू कैन सी वी हैव टू इंटरफेस इन अग्रीगेट ईयर ओके इफ वन इंटरफेस विल डाउन देन traffic pass through this second interface okay so friends it's also encourage bandwidth suppose this is my 1 gig link okay and also this is 1 gig link so both link combined become it will become 2 gig link okay so that's why aggregate interface use here so friends you can see port 3 and port 4 will be part of my aggregate interface okay so it's connected to our cisco switch here we will also configure so we will also configure sbi here in aggregate interface so we'll so you can see vlan 10 network is 172.16.10.10.0 and vlan 20 interface 172.16.20.0 okay so this is my lan zone okay lan our firewall port to ip address is 10.1.1.1 so friends you can see 3 and 4 will be part of my aggregate interface okay so friends you can see there is no any ip configured on this interface here okay now we will configure here so friends let's create aggregate interface so we have to create here click on create new and click on interface then here we have to provide our in aggregate interface like dmz a g g r okay we have to click on here type drop down and we have to select here 802 to 3d aggregate okay so we have to select here it will support lsap okay now we have to interface member add member here port we have to add port 3 and port 4 so role will be my dmz zone okay to enable ping service here now click on okay So friends you can see we have created here aggregate interface now friends we can configure sbi here uh, like just again we have to go to create new an interface now sbi for vlan 10 vlan so sbi will be dmz vlan 10 for vlan 10 now interface will be our aggregate interface dmz aggregate we have to select here now vlan id will be 10 okay now Role is DMZ. Now we have to provide IP. Our IP is one seven two two sixteen ten dot one slash twenty four slash twenty four. So as you can see, ten dot one, and we have our network is VLAN ten network one seven two two sixteen ten dot zero here ten dot one. Our firewall interface IP address. Now enable ping service and click on enable. Okay. Now, friends, we have to create SBI for VLAN 20, DMZ, VLAN 20. Select VLAN here. Now, DMZ aggregation 20, DMZ. Now, for VLAN 10 IP, we have 172.16.20.0. Okay, 20.1, 16.20.1. Slash twenty four. Now we have to enable ping here for interface. So, friends, you can see we have created two VLAN, VLAN ten and VLAN twenty SBI. Okay, VLAN ten IP ten dot one, VLAN twenty twenty dot one. Okay. So, friends, you can see it's showing down here. Link is down because we have to configure LSP here also. Port channel, port channel on this switch. Enable LSP on this switch. Okay. In switch. You can see we have a two interface E zero and E zero one. Okay, let me configure here. Enable. Twenty. So friends, first we have to configure this interface here, like interface range E zero slash zero one. Okay. So for uh, we have to create port channel here, channel group. port channel id 1 mode on okay 
for LSV. Okay, creating port channel. So port channel created here. Okay, so you can see port channel is up. Now we have to configure port channel as a trunk. So interface. So we have created port channel one. Okay. So we have to configure it uh, like a uh, switch port trunk. We have to enable trunk here. Encapsulation dot one Q. Now switch port mode trunk. Okay. Switch port mode trunk. So exit. So let me check port channel status here. So ether channel summary. So you can see it's showing up here. Okay. So friends, we have to configure E02 in VLAN 10 and E03 in VLAN 20. Okay. So let's configure here. County interface E0 by 2 switch mode mode XH switch port XH VLAN 10 okay now we have to configure port number 3 switch port mode XH switch port VLAN 20 okay so you can see we have configured here so VLAN so you can see VLAN 10 port 2 VLAN 20 VLAN okay now friends we can initiate traffic here to check our connectivity so let's uh, ping from router okay now we can ping our gateway from router enable so you can see our IP address let me show you IP interface brief so we have IP 10.10 .10. so I will ping here 10.1 so let me check it's pinging or not solar 10.1 So friends, you can see there is some issue, okay, interface getting down again and again. So let me show you our status aggregate interface status here, okay. Now friends, we can troubleshoot here, uh, diag, netlink, aggregate, sorry, name, sorry, list, okay. So you can see we have a uh, our aggregate interface status is showing down so uh, LSCP mode active okay so let me show you how to resolve this go to config system interface edit edit aggregate interface name okay now so full configuration so you can see So you can see set LSP mode active here. So now we have to provide here a static set LSP mode a static. Okay. Now set LSP mode static. Okay. Now press enter and end. Now let's check our status here. So you can see status is up now. Okay. LSAP mode static and status is up okay so now we can uh, try to ping from our router let's ping from router okay so you can see now it's getting ping okay so let me repeat uh, 20 so you can see it's getting ping now we can ping from from villain 10 router we are getting ping to our interface okay now friends we will ping from our LAN PC to this network and this network okay one by one so let me show you so we will enable debug debug IP ICMP okay now enable Cisco debug IP ICMP okay from this PC we will start ping BPC 
okay now let's ping uh, first we'll ping villain 10 ip 172.16.10.10 you can see it's not getting ping because we have to configure policy first let me configure policy here firewall now create new policy lan dmz okay lan to dmz now incoming interface will be lan to outgoing interface will be our dmz villain 10 okay source is 10 destination will be villain 10 network 172.16.10.0 okay all except no uh, except no need to net here okay now click on okay now we have to create policy for villain 20 dmz villain 20 okay lan to dmz villain 20 source incoming interface will be lan port outgoing will be villain 20 source will be lan 10 destination will be our 20 address 172.16.20.0 service all no need to net here enable this policy and ok so you can see we have two policy lan to VLAN 10 lan to dmz VLAN 10 lan to dmz VLAN 20 ok so we have policy here now we can test ping here so friends you can see we are able to ping here and we are getting traffic on our VLAN 10 router now friends let's try to ping VLAN 20 network ok 20.10 just ping here so now we can see we are getting traffic or server 20 villain 20 router okay so friends you can see our ether channel is working fine here okay so, so friends in this video we have seen how to configure aggregate link aggregate interface in fortigate firewall so friends thanks for watching this video have a nice day